Hi, I'm Johnny from UltimatePaperMache.com and I got my Zazu mask done. I had so much fun painting this. I just got him done this morning and I'm just thrilled with it. It took four different colors. That's it, just four. Um, cadmium red light, Naples yellow, black and white, and that's it. It would look so cool up on a stage. It would, <laughs> I think it would be even really cool at Mardi Gras. Can you get away with something like this? I've never gotten to go to Mardi Gras, so I don't actually know, but someday. Um, this is now available, by the way. The pattern is online at ultimatepapermache.com slash Zazu mask. That's all one word. And there is a $12 charge for it. So make sure that you look at the um, discount code that's at the top of the website. I keep forgetting to tell you guys about it. So now I'm almost done with all of the Lion King headdress masks. I think I've got two left to go. I've got Pumbaa the uh, the warthog. That's going to be a major challenge because of all those spot, those lumps he's got all over his head. But it's a challenge. We like challenges. And then Timon, I've already started him. Um, that's the mirror cat and he's he's looking really cool he's he's also got these black eye spots so if they ever show up on stage together that'd be really cool all the lions are done i've got the hyenas done the rafiki is done so two more left to go and then i get to start on halloween uh, the part that i was really excited about for the pattern when i put the original clay sculpture together that that's kind of how they start for me is i i sculpt them in clay and then i turn that into the pattern and i put these kind of swooshes on on the right above his eye on the on the clay and i just fell in love with those shapes <laughs> and so i went to a lot of trouble to make sure that those stayed in the pattern itself and then it also creates uh, the perfect place for those the, those feathery stripes right here I just think it would, I, I just love this guy I think I'm gonna wear him all day why not let me show you how it was painted <laughs> I used four colors is cadmium red light hue Naples yellow hue black and white I propped my mask up on top of a gallon jug of Elmer's glue all just so I didn't have to hold it in my hands all the time and then I sprayed it with an almond colored spray primer. I only use that color because it's what I happen to have in the basement. If you have white primer, it would make a lot more sense. And you'll see why in just a second. You can also use acrylic gesso if you'd prefer. When the primer was dry, I painted the cap black. This will make it pretty much disappear on stage. When the black was dry, I mixed a very, very small amount of black in with some white paint to create a very, very light gray and I covered the rest of the mask with it. I wouldn't have had to use this light gray on the beak if I had used a white primer or an acrylic gesso. When the light gray was dry I used a pencil to draw the black eye spot and painted it with the black acrylic paint. I also painted a I don't know what you call it. It's, it's sort of a long oval shape on the back of his head. It goes from the beak all the way down to uh, the cap. And I also put a zigzag shape on the beak with the black paint. Different hornbills have very different coloration, uh, different decorations, I guess you could say, on their face. So look at a lot of photographs and just use the one you like as your model. You don't necessarily have to paint your Zazu mask exactly the same way I do because you've got a lot of options. Uh, they come in a lot of variations in real life. I used Naples yellow for the eye. Then I mixed the yellow with some white and painted uh, a portion of the base of the beak. A lot of the hornbills do not have a red beak all the way down to the, to the very base of the beak. Some of it is a lot lighter in that area. So I put a base coat right there. It is going to be covered up later with a, a very light orange. I'm using transparent colors on the beak. So I needed two coats in order to completely cover it. I started out with a cadmium red light mixed with a little bit of the Naples yellow just to make a nice orange. And then once that was dry, I went back over it with the pure cadmium red light. Most red beaked hornbills don't actually have red beaks, uh, uh, at least if the photographs online are anything to go by. They're actually a very bright orange. Next, I mixed a little bit of the cadmium red light in with the Naples yellow to make a very light orange, and I put that over the yellow spots that I'd already painted before. 
I also kept mixing in a little bit of white on the tip of the brush so that I could create feathery strokes right at the intersection between this light orange and the real bright orange on the beak. I wanted it to look like the light orange part was feathers rather than the beak itself. I painted some black spots in his eyes for pupils. And then I mixed some black and white together to make a medium light gray and used my grainer brush to create those feathery marks up on the like the eyebrow swishes above his black eye spot. I don't know what you're going to call that area, but um, anyway, it was really fun to do. Now, my daughter made a video for us showing us how to paint a cow mask, and she used the grainer brush. That's the very first time I'd ever heard of it, and it's really fun to use because it makes all of those uh, brush marks, really fine brush marks all at once. But you can also use a really fine paintbrush if you have one. You don't have to run out and buy a special brush just for, just for your Zazu's eyes. It, I, I kept going back over it with light gray, dark gray, black and white to make some really interesting feathery marks up there. I used a very fine brush to add little white spots for the reflection in his eyes. It really brings him to life. And I also used a little bit more white with that fine brush to emphasize those, uh, those feathery marks in the light orange on his beak. As soon as I'm finished making this video, I'm going to take him down into the basement and spray him with a Krylon clear coat so I protect that paint. And he's all finished. Now, like I said, you can download Zazu now from ultimatepapermache.com slash Zazu mask, all one word. And if you'd like to see all of these patterns from up here or my uh, Lion King friends, you can find all of my patterns at ultimatepapermache.com slash patterns. Go make something and then come visit me, ultimatepapermache.com. I'll see you there.